What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I do weekly related scooter content. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing. Helps me and it helps you, well, because you wanna see my content. So, uh, what's up? Who doesn't wanna see me content? <laughs> so we're at Lair. Um, I'm doing a little scooter upgrade. Uh, as you can see, um, much needed. Actually, this deck, I've had it for a while. It's held up very well, not bent. Just, uh, she needs a bit of an upgrade because we're gonna throw down today. So, my signature lair grip. I don't know if I'm supposed to show you guys this yet, but it's my sig grip, so I'm showing you guys. I don't know when it'll be available, but when it is available, www.lairproshop.com. You know the vibes. Helps me, helps you, helps Lair. Everyone wins. I have someone coming from the Poco location to bring me parts. Um, so until then, I'm probably just gonna ride the rhythm section with the scooter right now until the new parts get here. And then we're gonna shred and get some fire clips. So I'll see you on the GoPro. All right, we're on the GoPro now. Uh, my new parts still aren't here yet. So until then, we're just gonna get some uh, chill clips in the mini, because why not? So we've already been getting clips. Murph's filming over on his GoPro. If you guys wanna go check out our clips, head over to his YouTube. But for now, until my new parts come, I'm just gonna do some uh, chill stuff. so sick. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not really feeling this no brake action and mismatch wheels and bars that are more bent than a Minecraft pickaxe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up the camera when my new parts get here and I'll do a little, uh, build video for you guys okay so this is an update on the prelude uh, it's still extremely dirty but I got rims on it uh, new wheels uh, I still have yet to put the spec D headlights on uh, the quick release is on the way um, tinted the tail lights looks pretty sick I was gonna look at a rear bumper lip but it was like over a thousand dollars after shipping so I thought let's make my own so we're gonna try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> try. We got Caden in this bitch. Didn't feel like paying a thousand bucks for a rear lip, so I went to Home Depot, paid eight bucks, bought some gardening separator. <laughs> got a little uh, rocket bunny fender. It actually looks way better. Okay, we're gonna get this uh, screwed in, and we're gonna see how this looks. You mentioned that Murph's here. Caden's here. I did yeah. earlier. What about Murph? I did earlier. You know, the frame too, you little hype beast. That was from you, buddy. <laughs> Here's a little update. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's actually not too bad. New parts just arrived too. Got Murph working hard. Trying. Okay, so update, we are fully done. Uh, I painted the lip gloss black because it's very dirty. But once I take this through the wash and it all kind of gets dirty together, it'll all look pretty natural. So, for, I mean, for eight bucks, definitely recommend it. Here's a little side view. I think I, I know one more way to make it look just a bit better. Yeah. Do you match this curve here and like kept it going? Yes. I could have done that now, but it's, I'm not gonna get my hands all. Yeah. It's no, it's fine. But the new parts are here, so let's go throw these on. 
She's all done, completely fresh. Thank you, Lair. If there's anything on my scooter that you want for yourself, www.lairproshop.com. Code me saves you money, saves, it doesn't save me money, it makes me money. And it makes Lair money, so everyone wins at the end of the day. It saves you money on bills. Ray? Lair wins, Mish wins, everyone wins. Alrighty, so it is like a week later from the last clip you guys saw, and a lot's happened. Uh, Let's uh, sit down for a little story time. So basically I was driving my Prelude, you guys know, this car, uh, to work. And then uh, something wasn't feeling right. Long story short, the transmission literally caught on fire on the highway. So I had to pull over. My phone was at 10%. I couldn't hear anyone that I was trying to call because it was raining so hard and there was cars flying by. So I was like preparing, I was like, I'm gonna have to walk to the gas station and use their phone there. But luckily, uh, a coworker like drove past me and then he turned around, came back, picked me up. So the Prelude's toast, it was gonna cost $15,000 to replace a brand new engine, or sorry, uh, transmission, because they had to ship it from Japan. Uh, and it was like 5,500 to just rebuild the transmission not even get a fresh one in there. So I ended up selling it for $1,000. Um, feels very bad, but I did get a new car and this new car I'm gonna keep for a long time. No five inch cannons on uh, this car. So uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the car. And then after that, we'll get some GoPro clips. Alex and Kagan are down here. Let's show you guys this new car. So this is the car. It's a 2012 Mercedes CL300 all-wheel drive. It's pretty sweet. Aftermarket tail lights. Resonator delete, so it sounds pretty sweet. I'll show you guys the inside. This is the inside. Nothing really, really special, but nice touch screen with navigation. Definitely an upgrade from the Prelude. There is a little rip in the seat, which kind of sucks, but not everything's gonna be uh, perfect when buying a used car, so. Yeah, nice steering wheel. Yeah, it's pretty much the car. Pretty happy with it. Lots of trunk space, which is very nice. I've never had a car with this much trunk space. Dude, look at this vanilla dip donut. Green. Let's go get some clips of uh, Alex and Kagan and see if they'll do their uh, double overheads. Okay, Alex is getting very close, so I'm gonna film it on my phone because he like wants it for an Insta clip, obviously. So if he lands the attempt, I will insert it right here. Okay, that was five tricks from Ro. Uh, I'm gonna do my five tricks over the big, big box in the big section, or big box in the little section, if that Holy makes sense. Literally. Holy fuck. Should I try flip whip, boys? I think so. <sighs> Maybe you don't flip, flip over first? No. 
Okay, I've never done flip whip over first. I don't really like doing flip combos over the first. My heart's kind of pounding. <laughs> so I'm gonna do flip whip up third, come around, just do it here. Just all one, one take. Bro, that was like MotoGP when they're turning the corners, they skid the knee across the ground. <laughs> oh. Okay, we didn't film us on the GoPro because I wanted to get it as a phone clip, but I did flip double, first try. Alrighty, that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Probably a longer video by the time I'm done editing it. Uh, neither Kagan or Alex did their double overheads. And uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.